What is going on my fam? This is your host with the most Philly Jim coming at you guys with another video. And as requested upon Philly Jim supporters, which by the way, I know you guys saw my community post. If you guys have seen it. Thank you guys so much for having my back uh, through all the bullshit, all the people coming after me. Not going to really say much about the whole situation, but one thing I will say is I really appreciate all the people that's been having my back since day one. All the people that's been having my back since before I'm at, before I made it to where I am right now. And the people that are just coming in, the, the new Philly Gym supporters, the people from Joey Shake's channel that has been having my back no matter what and support me and you know always being on my channel always coming to live streams always coming to read and react always coming uh to my videos all always leaving comments and feedback thank you guys so much for uh supporting me and no matter what bullshit happens you guys are the best and i really appreciate it so now that we got that out of the way i just wanted to as requested i did put up a poll on my community post about whether or not you guys would be interested in seeing my jersey collection. Now, um, I started being an Eagles fan in the early 2000s. So, you know, what I really, one thing I want to say is, I, what I really want to do as an Eagles fan is to expand my collection more. It's going to take, and I'm going to tell you guys right now, it's going to take several years for me to get to where I want to be as a jersey collector. However, I do know that the main thing that I'm focused on is I want to get more throwback jerseys. I need some Kelly Green in this uh, collection. I need some white jerseys as well. I do not have any white jerseys, but I'm going to try um, to get all the jerseys that I'm after. There's some super rare jerseys that I don't have that I would like to get. So uh, we'll get there when we get there. But for now, this is what we got. So every single jersey has a story behind it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to get right into it. So first up, we have a youth Donovan McNabb jersey. This jersey hasn't been washed in a while. There's a, a little bit of some uh, little stain on the back. So maybe I should throw this in the washing machine. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And as you guys can see, the Eagles logo is a little different than it is today. And that just goes to show you how old this jersey was. I believe that logo first changed <sighs> what year did it change it was somewhere between when the eagles first changed the logo from the from the classic logo that i'm rocking in this video to somewhere between the mid 90s i want to say around 95 96 97 and then um they upgraded it a little a few years later. But uh, I have these in numerical order, by the way. I do have Eagles jerseys and I do have Sixers jersey at the very bottom. So uh, here we go. So the next one we have is Nick Foles. This is a Chinese fake jersey. I did get a uh, eBay gift card after the Super Bowl. Um, it was like a late Christmas gift. So I got this and I pretty much just bought this. I wanted the Nick Foles Super Bowl edition. But... Um, they were pretty much sold out on <coughs> with Fanatics, so I was never able to get it. But uh, I have this one that does have the Super Bowl patch. Um, shit is really, this, I really am not a huge fan of them whatsoever, which is why I only have two fake jerseys, and this is one of the two. So as you guys can see, it's very, um, it's very easy to tell that this is a fake, the numbers and everything, but... No, at the end of the day, it's a jersey. It didn't cost that much, so I'm not really tripping about it. So, got that jersey. And now, this is what I want to emphasize on. The next uh, two, two, three jerseys, <coughs> I'm going to show you what the difference is between them. Because they are different than your everyday uh, NFL jersey, Eagles jersey, whatever kind of jersey that you buy, whatever team you support. So, uh, we're going to get right into it. So, as you guys can see here, I have not one, not two, but I have three Carson Wentz jerseys. Now, here's the deal with these jerseys. So, as you can tell, this one here on the far right 
Everything is screen printed on. This is a regular um, game jersey. I forget what these are called, but these are a little more expensive than these. These, you can buy these on NFLshop.com for, I don't know, $99, $99. Around 100 bucks. so roughly around 100 bucks. So as you guys can see, it's a little different here. Everything, the letters are screen printed on. Also, along with the, the numbers, the numbers are also screen printed on. So this is typically the jersey everyone gets, but there is a story behind this jersey. I will flip it around for you guys. Anyway, as you guys can see, I do have a Super Bowl champions patch on here. So here's the deal with this. This jersey is n widely known among this channel, people that's been supporting this channel for a long time. They know the story about this jersey. They know this jersey has been there through the ups and the downs. And this is pretty much known as my lucky jersey. The Eagles, I don't have a precise record for you, but every time I pull this jersey out of the closet, the Eagles, they really seem to, uh, to win some games. We have lost a few games uh, this year. Magic's worn off a little bit, but I will never give up this jersey when I need it the most. It is the most dependable jersey that I have. And I am extremely superstitious. But as you guys can see, everything's screen printed on. I did, this patch has been ironed on. I will zoom in a little bit on it uh, so you guys can see it. It tells the date of the Super Bowl, blah, blah, blah. And it has the Eagles logo on both sides. So it's a pretty cool jersey. Uh, it, it's, very, uh, it's very near and dear to my heart. Now, with these jerseys, it's a little different. Now, where everything's screen printed on, these are stitched. But they're not stitched like the Chinese style so as you guys can see here everything is a little stitched everything stitched there numbers also stitched a little bit so you guys can see there these jerseys one thing i will say is if you are going to purchase a jersey this is what i would recommend the most these are my favorite these are my two favorite jerseys just the way they're made just the material uh what's the right word to say the um the quality, probably, the quality is a lot better than these. Now, that as I said, this jersey is very near and dear to my heart. But at the same time, the quality is so much better with these jerseys. So, with these jerseys, you know, everything is, you got the NFL logo right there. Um, it's a little, it's a little different than this NFL logo. Let me flip this over so you guys can see. This is a uh, plastic this is also plastic, but at the same time, you can kind of see the difference right there. It's got a little something, a little something special there. And then the NFL logo is a little more shiny than it is there. So anyway, uh, these jerseys, in my opinion, they are the best Eagles jerseys, best NFL jerseys in general that you can purchase. Best overall, um, the stitching feels real good. It looks, it looks good on you. You look good. You feel good. So these jerseys, uh, these are these two. These are my favorite, quality wise, uh, jersey wise. So I really recommend that you get get these. These are 150 bucks. They're 50 dollars more, but I promise you the quality is so much better. And when, once you get one, you will realize that these jerseys make those jerseys look like they should cost. They they make basically what I'm trying to say is. The $150 jerseys make the $100 jerseys look like they should cost, I don't know, 20 bucks. Not uh, that's, a, that's a stretch. How about, we'll say, they make them look like they should cost 45, 50 bucks. We'll leave it at that. All right, guys, I'm back. Now that you guys know the difference between the $100 jerseys and the 150 jerseys, buck 50. Um, I'll go through the rest of my collection now. So next we got up a green Brian Dawkins. I did. Ha I do have another Brian Dawkins that I had in my childhood, but uh, I, I went ahead and got a Nike one. It was just a hundred bucks. So I got the green. I got I got a lot of green in my closet, and I got a few black ones. But like I said, I'm trying to expand. I'm trying to get some more throwbacks. I'm trying to get some more black jerseys, some more white jerseys. Um, so I'm gonna closet. But pretty much, this is just your typical jersey. Just Dawkins. Dawkins is quite possibly the greatest Philadelphia Eagle of all time. You can go back and forth all day. You can say Ricky White. You can say Randall. You know, there's a lot of guys you can throw in there. But Dawkins, <coughs> excuse me. So, guys, 
next up we have a Nike Brian Dawkins jersey as you guys can see I will come in a little closer we got the Nike symbol right here on the sleeve pretty awesome um, but anyway I do have another Dawkins jersey that I had in my childhood um, funny story the McNabb jersey and the Dawkins jersey got both those jerseys for Christmas one year, my grandmother got them for me, who has since passed away back in 2012. Funny story, I played high school football. I was a wide receiver and a corner and a safety, and I uh, played a little bit on special teams as well. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, I chose number 12 to honor my grandmother, who passed away in 2012. So she will always uh, have a special place in my heart. She's the only person in my life who really ever made me feel like she truly loved me. So I do dedicate that to her. Um, people that know me, <clears throat> they know they, they know that part of my life. So I just want to share that to all you guys because you guys deserve to know. But anyway, uh, Brian Dawkins, That's a, I'll get to that later, but Brian Dawkins, Nike jersey, I got this one. Uh, because Brian Dawkins is my favorite Eagles player of all time. He's qu quite possibly the greatest Philadelphia Eagle Whoever lived in, you know, you could throw out all kinds of names as the greatest Philadelphia Eagles uh, player of all time. There's a lot of names you can go from the era that I grew up watching, which was with, with McNabb, and you had uh, Brian Westbrook, and you had Brian Dawkins, and you had cornerback duo, you had Lito Shepard, you had Sheldon Brown, you had all kinds of guys on, on the defensive side of the ball, and then you had Donovan McNabb. And you had uh, Brian Westbrook, and that was pretty much your offense. You did have uh, James Thrash and uh, Top Pinkston and these guys. But, you know, at the end of the day, those guys were just guys. And there's a there's one Brian Dawkins pretty much every 10, 15 years. Not even that long. There's like, I think there's one every 30, 40, 50 years. This guy is an all-time great player. He's one of the best safeties in NFL history. And he's quite possibly the greatest Philadelphia Eagle of all time. So next up, I do have the one that I mentioned my grandmother did purchase for me. So I got this Dawkins jersey. Used to wear it to school all the time. Even, even in 2012, I wore, I had a white Brian Westbrook jersey, which is, I haven't been able to locate it. So I don't know what happened to it. Uh, maybe I lost or whatever when I moved. But anyway, I used to wear that jersey. I used to wear this jersey and the McNabb jersey every single week to school. I got clowned for it. Um, teacher from across the hall, they would have a planning period, which is when teachers plan for their next class. They have one period off. There's four periods in a day. The teacher would come from across the hall, and they would come in, and they say, hey, well, you know, the Eagles are the worst team in the league, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, the guy, the guy was a complete jackass, and I pretty much roasted him the year we won the Super Bowl. I roasted a lot of people who gave me shit for being a diehard fan during uh, that time. But anyway, we'll move on. Next up is a, a tw number 22, Sante Samuel. This jersey is awesome. This guy is pretty much the best corner we've had in recent memory. Hopefully the Philadelphia Eagles, they make up for that and they bring in a guy this offseason to be the next shutdown corner for the Eagles. Next thing we up, next thing we have up is Shady McCoy, all-time leading rusher for the Philadelphia Eagles. Green um, Nike jersey, so... Pretty ordinary here, but Shady, he'll always hold a place in my heart, even though we traded him for Kiko Alonso, which I thought was the dumbest move ever, but it is what it is. Chip Kelly ruined this team. He did everything he could to ruin this team. But anyway, now we have some more recent players. We have a black number 26. We have Miles Sanders. I have been sold on Miles Sanders since day one. I got this jersey after the draft. So anyway, Miles Sanders is the man. He is a stud. He has improved every single week. Even though I made a community post roasting pedophile state, I love me some Miles Sanders, and I have loved him since his college days. He really, his explosiveness really leaped off to me off, uh, watching film, watching Penn State games throughout the offseason when looking at guys I thought the Eagles should be looking at at the running back position. Miles Sanders is the future lead back for the Philadelphia Eagles. He will be uh, behind uh, Jordan Howard, hopefully for the next few years. Hopefully we resign Jordan Howard. Um... And then Miles, when by the time he comes into his own, probably two, three years from now, Miles will be ready to go. Anyway, next we have up is Zach Ertz. And this is pretty much the end of the Eagles collection that we have. We are going to expand on this quite a bit, though. 
but Ertz, like I said, pretty ordinary with the Shady McCoy jersey, pretty ordinary here. Got this for Christmas last year after Ertz broke the uh, all-time single-season receptions record last season. He had over 116 catches, I believe. But anyway, next up we have Philadelphia 76ers, Allen Iverson, black jersey. A lot of Sixers fans are obsessed with these jerseys. They want these jerseys back as the alternate. I think it would be cool to see. So uh, if the fans keep buzzing about it long enough, they will uh, bring them back. This is obviously, this is a Mitchell and Ness jersey as we have the tag down here at the bottom left corner. As you guys can see there. But uh, Alan Iverson, he's, he's my hero. Guy grew up in poverty, great basketball player. Philadelphia, he embodies the city of Philadelphia with his uh, underdog. He's too small. He'll never succeed in the NBA. Uh, all that kind of shit. AI is the man. So I always, uh, I always have a place in my heart for Allen Iverson. Next up we have is Julius Irvin. As we know, probably Julius Irving is probably the greatest sixer of all time. This is the second of my two fake jerseys. But anyway, I got this on Amazon. I had an Amazon gift card. At our graduate college, so I really uh, I love Dr. J. I also have a uh, here here it is. I have a Dr. J uh, figurine that someone gave me. So just because I'm a young guy doesn't mean I'm not educated on the history of Philadelphia sports. I love Philadelphia sports. I appreciate all the older guys that have seen dudes like Dr. J play. I know all about Dr. J. Dr. J was smooth. Um, he had respect of his peers, Magic Johnson. You can rave about him all day long. Dr. J's the man. The next thing we have up is the red Joel Embiid Sixers jersey. This jersey no longer says Sixers on it. As you can see there, it says Sixers, but now it says Phila, P-H-I-L-A. And uh, that's that. And the last and final jersey is a Ben Simmons with the stars around him. This is the earned edition uh, given to all the playoff teams from 2018. I released it last year around Christmas time, and the Sixers, they first wore these jerseys on Christmas Day. So um, I love I love my Sixers. I love my Eagles. I do love my Phillies, even though I don't have any Phillies jerseys in the closet quite yet, but um, I'll, get, I'll get to that when I get to that. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to share my collection. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you guys have any suggestions for jerseys you guys should be uh, going after, please let me know. Anyway, this is your host from the Most Philly Gym. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you did or you didn't. Anyway, see you guys next time. Go Birds, go Sixers, go Phils, and go Flyers. Peace out.